and I, this is something I've learned because I'm, I'm a very sort of meticulous planning person by nature, you know, uh, when I was a kid, I got a basketball from my second, in second grade, and my brothers played with it, and I took it in the house and washed it off in the tub, so I didn't want my basketball to get dirty, right, that's what we're dealing with here, so I like to have a plan, you know, but in monthly comics, you never know, like, when they, they hire you to write a book, you might do it for 12, you might do it for 50, you know, so how do you keep maintaining that serialized nature when you don't even know when the end's going to come, right? So the way that I do it is, I start off and I know what my first story arc is going to be. I know there's going to be a first story arc, right, because that's what they hired me to write. So I know what that is. I kind of figure out what I want my themes to be, you know, fathers and sons, you know, heroism, whatever. And I, and I think about what I want my end to be. So like when I sat down and wrote the first issue of Hawkman, I knew what the opening arc of Hawkman was going to be, and I knew that eventually it would end up with him being reunited with the JSA back in the World War II era, right? I had no idea how many issues would come between. But I knew what my themes were, and along the way, I would write an arc, and I would leave myself like a thread somewhere that you would never even know was there if I don't pull on it. But it's a thread I can go back and pull on it if I need another story arc later, right? And so Hawkman was going to end at like 16, and then they wanted it to end at like 20, and then it was 26, and then it was 29, right? And a lot of times they'll call you and say, okay, there's another arc, I need to know what you want the next story to be, and I need it for solicits. And I would say like, well, how much time do I have? And they'll be like, by the end of this phone call. Like, okay. <laughs> so, like, and that's not bad, right? That's just the nature of comics that sets it apart from other things. So the way that I do it is to know what my beginning is, know what my end is, along the way I leave myself little threads that I can pull out, you know, some mysterious item somewhere, something that crash landed on a planet, I don't know, whatever, and I can pull that if I need another arc in a pinch, and you just kind of keep stringing them along, and eventually they'll call you and say, we're ending, you've got four more issues left, and I already know what that last story arc is going to be. Does that make sense? Yeah, thank you. Uh, let's go 